Hi, my name is Steve Taylor. Hi, I'm Woody Harris. We're going to show you how to measure yourself for a resistance wetsuit. First thing you need is a measurement device with centimeters. Um, make sure it has centimeters because that's what we're going to go by. First thing you're going to measure is total height. So, top of the head, all the way down to the floor. The next measurement is the overall length, and it is number three, and you're going to measure from the vertebrae to the ankle, and you want to do it in the back of the ankle. Have the person hold this against their neck so you can measure it correctly. For the number four measurement, which is the waist length, you want the person to find the thinnest part of their stomach. It should be around your waist. I think, yeah. yeah. Probably like just above your hip, yeah. Do the same thing with the vertebrae. Go down from there. The next measurement is the leg length. For this, you're gonna wanna put the top of the measuring tool basically up there <laughs> and you measure to inside of the ankle the torso length you're gonna go right back up here to where we just started from on the last measurement and go all the way to the neck point mm. for this measurement it is the rise length and you're gonna hold the black button the same point you were just at go straight up to the waist point. Number eight is the neck measurement. So you want to go under the Adam's apple on males. For females, just find where, where about that would be. You want it pretty tight, but not choking them. So the wetsuit's tight. 34, good job. Thanks. Number nine is the upper chest. Um, when you, you're going to take the measurement tool and really get it up under the armpits. And then you can bring it around, back under. Make sure it's up there. You can bring your arms down. And then pull it tight in the back. And measure from there. The next measurement is the chest. So it's just under there. You want to go straight across the nipples. Like so? Is that your nipple? Yeah, there? that's it. That nipple? Yeah. Okay. Could you hold that for me? This one? Yeah. There we go. Put your arms down. Have them relax their arms. Number 11 is the hips. So you're going to measure the thin part just above the hips. Number 12 is under the waist, so you're going to find the belly button and go right under that at the thick point. Where are you fattest, big boy? <laughs> no. mm. You're sweaty. <laughs> Number 13 is the hip. You're going to find the widest part of your hip. It's Normally, basically like the top of your buttocks. You want to squeeze this one tight so that the suit is going to fit nice and tight. This is where it gets fun. This is the number 14 upper ham, and that's uh, the base of the leg just under the groin. You can, you can help yourself get around this one, buddy. Get it down there and around. <laughs> Wait, all the way? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's flipped. Number 15 is the mid ham. It's basically the middle of your thigh. Number 16 is the knee. You want to measure just above the kneecap. 
That's my cap. I know, I realize that. <laughs> 17 is under the knee. You want to measure just under the kneecap. The next measurement is the calf. You're going to find the widest part of the calf and measure it. Oh, it's fat right there. It's a fat one. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. 19 is the ankle point. You're going to find the thinnest part of the ankle and then you're going to measure it. Next is the shin length. You're going to measure from the middle of the knee to the ankle. Next is the shoulder length. You're going to find the shoulder blade hole on each side. It should be right about there. Measure from one end to the neck point to the other shoulder blade hole. 22 is the sleeve length. You're gonna measure from the neck point to the shoulder blade hole. Have the person hold their hand out at a 45 degree angle. If you need a protractor, you can use a protractor to figure that out. And measure to the wrist bone. All right, hey. Next is the arm length. Shoulder point, yeah, put your little 45 degree angle. Straight to the wrist, bone, chicken bone. This is the shoulder joint, so you're gonna have a 45 degree angle again. Go from under the armpit, up in there. around the shoulder point. And dry your armpits first. Woody is sweaty. 25 is the upper bicep. Make them real strong. I'm gonna go 45, you can let go. 25 <laughs> degree angle again. 27 is the elbow. You wanna go right above the elbow. Twenty-eight is under elbow. You want to find the widest point under the elbow. Twenty-nine is the wrist. Uh, right above the bone. See a little chicken bone right there? Go right above it. Now we're doing girls. <laughs> the next thing is for women only. We're going to demonstrate on Woody because he looks pretty cute. A is under the bust. So that would be, you can see a little bit right there. You got to check those first. The next measurement is B, and that's nipple to nipple. <laughs> These guys right here. Twenty point five. The next measurement is the middle of the shoulder to the nipple. Uh, where is it? Right here. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? You <laughs> flick <laughs> though. That's how you measure yourself. <laughs> <laughs>